In China, history is repeating itself. This film studio, a busy factory of anti-Japan propaganda, turning out hundreds of World War II dramas a year. Today, it's The Last Prince, a story about a Qing dynasty noble who threw his hat in with the communists to fight the Japanese. But from the plot, to the costumes, to the explosions, it's following a script that most in China seem to accept without question. The Japanese we play in these movies are true to history, but even when we put on their uniforms, we still can't grasp their cruelty and hatred. Tourists flock to the enormous Hengdian film set in eastern China to see the spectacle of a battlefield come to life and feel a bit of national pride. We are powerful and prosperous today because of these soldiers' sacrifices. We must reenact each and every scene accurately so the younger generation can remember the hardships and difficulties our forefathers overcame to build our country and the shame and the humiliation of the past. Films are not the only way China is keeping the memory alive. On September 3rd, the nation will host an enormous military parade commemorating 70 years since Japan surrendered. Tokyo announced this week Prime Minister Shinzo Abe will not be attending.